Are you looking for the best gaming laptops under $1,500 in this video? We will look at some of the three best gaming laptops on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1, Razer Blade 15. Launched earlier this year, the Razer Blade 15 has finally caught up with the competition for what makes the best gaming laptop under 1500. Some outstanding criteria are the solid structure, slim body, elegant design. Besides, the upgrades on the screen, such as thin bezels and 144Hz screen, are also appreciated by critic. Though this laptop is closer to under $2,500 than $1,500, the Intel Core i7-8750H processor paired with the NVIDIA Jeffers GTX 1070 Max-Q GPU has created an excellent performance suitable for gamers. Also, you can choose the NVIDIA GTX 1060 Max-Q to optimize for the thin and light mobile of this laptop. Razer has shown its strength in Blade benchmark performance. Despite having a thickness of 17.2 mm compared to the width of 17.7 mm of MSI GS65, this core gaming performance benchmarks. It scored an average of 92 FPS in three test sections on Rise of the Tomb Raider namely 144 FPS with Mountain Pass, 83 FPS in Syria, and 78 FPS in Geothermal Valley, compared to 80 FPS for MSI GS65 and Gigabyte Aero 15X. In the tests of Total War, Warhammer 2 and Ghost Recon, Wildlands, the Blade 15, achieved an average test score of 59 and 44 FPS, which is slightly or slightly better than the GS65. Number 2. Dell G5 155587. The Dell G5 155587 is the successor to the Dell Inspiron 15 in the 7000 series. For the case, Dell believes in what has been tested, which means that the G5 15 uses the same design languages as the Inspiron 15. 7000, among them, the most outstanding is the smooth outer shell that leaves fingerprints in the front edges quite sharp. In terms of stability, the Dell G5 15 leaves an excellent impression. Due to the hinge placed in the center, the screen becomes very solid. You can open the screen with one hand without problems, and the maximum opening angle is 140 degrees. The screen is kept in a perfect position, no matter during our use. The all-new Intel Core i5-8300H H processor, under the current Coffee Lake product line. Quad-core processor clocked at 2.3 GHz, 4.0 GHz with 45 Watt TDP. SoC also provides hyper-threading, which means that the Intel Core i5-8300H H can run 8 threads at the same time, allowing it to even run some virtual reality on lower settings. However, thanks to the GeForce GTX 1060 Max-Q, the gaming performance of the Dell G5 155587 is sufficient. Not all games can be played at high resolution without problems, but malfunctions rarely occur. The Witcher 3 game clearly shows the limits of the device. However, in Rise of the Tomb Raider, the game can even be played smoothly at high resolutions. One thing is clear, configuration with Intel Core i5-8300H and GeForce GTX 1060 Max-Q is usually suitable for Full HD and high resolution with stable speed. Number 3. Baser Predator Helios 300, 2019. Looking at the picture above, we guess you will wonder, is this the Helios 500 slash Triton 500? Is there a mistake, why is it like Helios 500 slash Triton 500? Or cry out in surprise, is this Helios 300? It is completely different from the previous year's version. Compared to previous year's versions, Helios 300-2019 has had a lot of design changes. It inherits some details and characteristics from high-end models such as color, beveled corner, etc. Helios 300-2019 has been upgraded by Acer and positioned the product to a higher level. As for the screen, it is still the parameters that were available on the previous generation, 15.6-inch screen, IPS panel for wide viewing angles, anti-glare coating, full HD resolution, high frequency 144Hz, on the 2018 version, depending on the option, the screen does not have this parameter, brings a little advantage and better support for FPS gamers. When playing the game, I tried the power of Helios 300-2019 with three current heavy titles, Battlefield 5, Far Cry New Dawn, and Assassin's Creed Odyssey. 
With the graphics settings from height ultra high, the machine works well, and the FPS level is stable, over 35 to 60 frames per second, providing a comfortable gaming experience. If you want higher FPS, you can adjust it to medium, turn off some unnecessary settings.